Hello, Namaskar, Sasikar, and Salam to everyone. Welcome to Captain Classes. And uh, yesterday on my YouTube page, I asked you guys what should be the topic of my next upcoming video. So I asked you whether I should cover the part one or should I cover the part two also. So I got the maximum vote around 96% of the vote says that I should also cover the part two section. So in this video, I'll cover some, or you can say, I'll start. The basic thing of part two. I will start explaining the uh, radio theory of part two. As you all know that in part two, uh, examiner there will be two examiners in part two. One examiner will be asking you about the air traffic management, which is ICAO, ITU documents, annexures, no tam, etc. And the other examiner will be asking you about the uh, radio theory, electronics and electricals. Uh, basic uh, laws and all so today i will tell you about the radio theory you should know what is radio wave so what is radio wave so and how it is actually uh, you know reproduced and how it is uh, you know uh, we came to know about the radio theory about radio wave so what happened actually how this radio wave is uh, you know uh, generated uh, first of all you should know that AC and DC. AC is alternating current, DC is the direct current. So in alternating current, you all know the wave is like sinusoidal, and in direct wave, uh, direct current is not like this. So in direct current, the current will, the whatever the current is or electron is, it is moving throughout the circuit in a direction, particular direction. But in AC, it is not there. It is, the the electron is not moving in a particular direction actually it is moving in both the direction so you can say that the electron is vibrating it is going to and fro and coming back to the same position and it is vibrating like this so when we increase the frequency of the ac wave so ac whenever the uh, ac comes it is uh, the alternating quantity alternating quantity has some basic uh, things which is like uh, frequency and all so when we increase the frequency, this electron, first suppose this electron is going forward in the positive section of the alternating quantity and it, will, it is coming back in the uh, negative section of the alternating quantity and now uh, the, after completing one cycle it will come into the main or the original position. But when we increase the frequency, in frequency increasing means I am and the circle, so you can say the, the whole cycle is increased, the rate of cycle, completion of cycle is increased. Suppose it was taking one second to complete one cycle, now I have increased the frequency. Now, uh, this uh, in one second, two cycles are completed. So, if, by this way, what we are doing, we are forcing electron to move more or you can say move uh, too fast. But sometimes when we increase the frequency, what happens, the electron doesn't come to its mean position and the second wave comes. So what happens, some of the energy is lost and that lost energy is being radiated as radio waves. So whenever the conductor, so if you can see here, <coughs> suppose this is your conductor and in DC, electron is moving like this simple it is going out of or you can say the source wherever the source is the battery or whatever it is it will going it will go to a source but when the ac is there it will only vibrate here or you can say it will move forward and come back to its original position or move forward and back into the original position because the ac is like this this is the positive section and this is the negative section. When positive section is there, it will go to forward position. And when negative this uh, comes to this uh, zero, then again it comes to its, uh, its uh, original position. When the negative cycle begins, it will go back. And when negative cycle is completed, again it is coming to its original position. But when this frequency, suppose this is total will take around one second but now I have increased the frequency for example this is the new wave so it has to this electron has to uh, move 
or it has to do this thing, or you can say one cycle, uh, two cycle in one second, because I have increased the frequency of the alternating quantity. When we are increasing this alternating quantity or the frequency of the alternating quantity, the electron will come will not come back to its original position before. Uh, uh, while uh, you can say the electron is not coming to its original position and the new wave is coming. So when the new wave is coming, there, there, that means some of the energy is being lost in, in the electron. So that energy is radiated uh, from the conductor in form of radio wave. So this, this is how radio wave is generated. So now radio wave has some property. Radio wave is some like, you can say it is same like light. Whatever the property light shows, the same property is being shown by radio wave. <clears throat> First of all, it is uh, moving in a straight line. It moves in a straight line. Second, it shows the property of refraction, refraction, reflection also and refraction also and diffraction also. So, uh, as you know, if you know about the reflection, what is reflection and uh, refraction and diffraction. So, reflection is simple suppose uh, this is your uh, reflecting surface and this is a wave is coming from here and it will come back to this position if we draw a normal from this point the angle between this is you can say angle of incident or you can say this angle of reflection so the angle of incident will be equals to angle of reflection so this wave will come like this and go like this. So this is known as reflection. Now refraction is what? So this is refraction. Suppose uh, when a light or a radio wave travels from a rarer medium to a denser medium, it will bend. So here what is happening? Suppose this is a container and you are you are watching. Or you are seeing this container. Suppose this antenna was, container was uh, empty. When you see, you can see this this point of the container. This is a wall, and this you are seeing this wall of the container. But when the, this container is filled with water, you are able to see this bottom of this container because this light light wave is entering the denser medium. When the light wave or radio wave enters into denser medium, it will bend away from the, or you can say not away, it bend towards the normal. So it will bend towards the normal. So here the normal is this. So it is bent towards the normal. So here this you can you are able to see uh, the bottom part of the container. So this is refraction. Now what is diffraction? Diffraction is very simple. Because of diffraction only, the entire simple, uh, only single sun is able to entire, uh, able to light up the uh, room or you can say uh, the entire world. So here you can see what happens actually. This is suppose this is the some cardboard. I have made a one hole in this cardboard, and this is uh, your light source. Okay, so this light is going like this. When this light is enters here, it will bend like this also. It will go straight here, 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 here. So this is known as diffraction. Again, if I put one cardboard, the light will go here, but few of the light will bend here, 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 here. So bending of the wave, when it passes through an orifice or edge on the uh, edge of the building, then it bends and thereby it, it travels not in a straight line, you can say it travels in a straight line, but when uh, this orifice comes into the path, it can bend. So this is known as diffraction. So this is uh, these are some properties of uh, uh, radio wave and this is a, you can say as a vector quantity, it has a magnitude also and the direction also. In radio wave, uh, we have electric field and magnetic field. Both fields we have. How this electric field and magnetic field is, uh, you know, uh, 
arranged. Suppose this is the plane of electric field and this is the plane of your magnetic field. So electric field and magnetic field are uh, you know 90 degree apart away from each other. Okay, and direction of travel will be 90 degree of both the planes. Suppose this is your electric field and this is your magnetic field. So it will travel towards you or it will travel towards me. So 90 degree. These all these three things, whatever three things I explained, one is direction of uh, your electric field, one is direction of your uh, magnetic field, and the third thing is your direction of your direction propagation. So these all three things are 190 degree apart. It will remain 190 degree apart. Suppose this is your electric field, direction of electric field, and this is your magnetic field. If any of the uh, field, if the plane of the field is changed, suppose this is your electric field, if I change it to this position, so if, if in this condition it is going towards uh, you, then in this condition it will come towards me. Same goes to magnetic field. If magnetic field in this position is going like this, then in, uh, if in this position it will go like this. So this is how it is done. So now when the radio wave, I told you that radio wave is also a kind of alternating quantity. So whenever the alternating, alternating quantity comes, we have the frequency also, we have the amplitude also, we have the time period also, we have cycle also, we have wavelength also. So all these three things, all these things comes into uh, basic radio theory which are first is wavelength, second is frequency, third is cycle, fourth is Time period, fifth is amplitude. Basically, we don't consider time period or we don't use time time period as much. But yes, frequency is very important. Uh, sorry, wavelength is very important. Frequency is very important, and amplitude is also very important. So, what is the wavelength? Suppose this is your alternating quantity or the radio wave. So, wavelength is what? In one cycle, this is called your cycle. When the alternating quantity completes its one set of value, means one set of value means it's, this total set of value is one set is one value. If again, if this is, this we cannot consider this part because this is the repeated part of or repeated value of this set. So, one set of value is completed then it is known as cycle. Now in this one cycle, how much horizontal distance this wave has covered is known as wavelength. Okay, and now what is amplitude? Amplitude is from the knee position. This is the maximum displacement of the body. Okay, so this maximum displacement of the body on the either side if you calculate here also this will be remain same this and this a or b this a it will be equals to b so this the maximum displacement is on the either side of the mean position is known as the amplitude of the radio wave now what is frequency frequency i uh, i already told the num number of cycles completed in one cycle one second is known as frequency so if this is one second so frequency will be one hertz so this hertz hertz is the unit of frequency okay so this is the basic things of the radio wave and uh, I hope you understood all the things. I will cover the next part of this uh, radio theory in the next video. And I hope everything is understood and if in case you have any doubt, you can please comment down on the video. I will uh, reply in the video, uh, comment also. 
if in case you like this video please click on like subscribe the channel i'll keep you uh, i'll uh, put more and more videos of uh, related to rtr and aviation on this channel so stay tuned and please subscribe to captain classes thank you so much and fly high